Hey guys, well I've been working on a couple of Mach 3 screen sets for some brother uh, vertical machining and tapping centers. One is a small TC201 which has a drum changer and arm. The second is a, a traditional uh, front mounted carousel and it's a TC229. I have completely redone Mach 3 screens and if you look here you can see across the top the tabs have changed. Um, I left the standard Mach 3 screen because a lot of these buttons that are not normally used uh, are not on main screen. But I did want to in keep access to them just in case. Uh, added the probing screen for a touch probe, but I did leave the traditional offset screen. Uh, the ATC screen is completely new, and it was meant to simulate a Siemens 840 type control pad, as well as the main screen. So let's quickly kind of just go over it. There's a lot going on here. Of course, of course the colors have changed. Um, this was uh, by preference uh, from the client. This is the look that he was looking for. We have our XYZ DRO as well as our fourth axis and C for uh, the servo motor controlling the drum. Um, on the TC201, he is using a servo motor to control the drum movements. On the 229, they're using the mechanical Geneva gear. So the tool change macros are completely different for the two. However, um, the screens are pretty similar. Um, we have our reset button here. We have a cycle start. Now cycle start. These buttons are meant to emulate a touchpad. We have our cycle stop, feed hole. We have a hand wheel button, which pops up your MPG for uh, jogging. We have an M1 optional stop button, which is useful uh, when running code. We have our rapid override. So if you are running your machine, and you know these machines are super fast, so if you want to override the rapid, you can push this button, and on your settings screen here, you can type in the uh, override speed that you want to run. So if, for instance, you're running 200 inches per minute, uh, for your rapids and you want to drop that down to 50 when you push the button then you just simply type in 50 here and that will uh, you can override it with this button or on the main screen you can push the no rapid button and when you do uh, it will change states and give you this no rapid signal here uh, this button is also on the ATC screen we have our flood on and off. Um, I made this blink and give a indication that it is spraying. Uh, we also have our spindle on and off. Uh, this will turn green when the spindle is on and turn red when it is off. Up here we have our work coordinates. We're in G54. We have our tool number. Uh, you can type in the tool number here uh, just like you would on the main page. We have our tool diameter. Over here we have our feed rate. This is our feed rate and we can override this. Uh, our current feed rate and we're in units per minute. Uh, this is our speed for our spindle, our RPM and our input RPM and again we can override this and reset it. I added the MDI line here on the main screen. Uh, this is useful a lot of times so you don't have to switch back and forth. 
Uh, down at the bottom, we have our G code. We have our edit G code, close, load, uh, run from line, and our line number. And then for our display, we have our rewind, regen, and our codes, uh, and EM codes, which are useful. So that's pretty much on our main screen. It's kind of, you can see it's kind of cleaned up and there's really only what you need on this screen. Uh, I'm actually kind of growing fond of this screen uh, the more I look at it. Uh, so this may be something I might incorporate into my machine. Another new screen is the ATC screen. Now this is for the Brother TC229, which has a 10 position um, front mounted uh, changer. It utilizes this metal disc that has these slots to determine what position um, the carousel is rotated in. And it uses a Geneva drive to rotate from position to position. Now it's really fast changing to positions. Uh, however, for converting it over to Mach 3, it made it a little bit more difficult to try to incorporate this metal disc. Uh, you can see the disc here it has these different slots. Now each position, uh, when it is in position, will give an input. And then based upon where it is rotated, will determine what position it's in. Uh, so I had to, to uh, come up with a truth table and incorporate that into the uh, tool change macro. We have our each individual slot has a DRO. We have buttons behind each slot pushed. It will put that tool into the spindle. It's given that message because 33 has nowhere to go here. Okay, so if you push the button, it will put that tool into the spindle. There we go. It'll put that tool into the spindle, so that works for each position on the carousel. It lets us know what position the slot is currently in. Of course, on the brother, the way it works, you can actually see which position I believe is lined up at the current time. Uh, here again we have our no override or rapid override button. Um, in simulation mode it's not changing like it should but it does work. Uh, of course we have our spindle graphic. We have our uh, reference all. Uh, this green indication lets you know that the Z, uh, C axis is referenced. This was um, uh, requested by the gentleman I made this screen set for. We have our X, Y, Z, A, and C DROs, um, our feed rates, spindle, our tool numbers. And our tool diameter. And of course you can, uh, it lets you know if the tool offsets are on or off. And you can save your tool offsets. If you happen to um, do some touch offs here. And an additional MDI down here at the bottom if you need it. So that is for the screen set for the TC229. Uh, now let's take a look at the one for the Brother TC201. A little bit different, a little bit more involved because it has the arm changer. Okay, so you can see this screen is exactly the same. This is the main screen. I've also left the original mock screen, your probing screen. All of these are the same. The only difference being is the ATC screen. Uh, this ATC screen has a different graphic for the drum. This TC201 is only in eight position, plus one in the spindle, so nine tool changer. Um, and it has the arm graphic. 
This arm graphic will change states with the tool change and blink red when the arm is moving. And the M6 macros are a little bit different. Um, this uses a servo to move the drum as well as there are some pivoting tool pivot down inputs up inputs um, for making the tool change happen but I'm really uh, I was really excited uh, I think these both of these screen sets turned out really well so that wraps up uh, this video uh, if you are retrofitting a brother or have already retrofitted it and you're running Mach 3 and you're interested in this screen set, uh, please contact me. Uh, this particular front mounted carousel screen set works for a wide uh, range of model numbers. And if there's some tweaking or customizing we need to do, uh, I'm more than happy to uh, work with you on that. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. As always, thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not. And most importantly, be safe.